Okay, so now we will consider three vectors v1 bar, v2 bar, v3 bar, and we will show that this set v1 bar, v2 bar, v3 bar is a linearly independent set in the space R3. So, what does my definition say? My definition says that let c1 v1 bar plus c2 v2 bar plus c3 v3 bar equal to 0 bar. And I will try to show, I will try to show that C1, C2, and C3 all must come to be zero. And then I will get that the three vectors are linearly independent. So let me substitute. So therefore, C1, V1 bar plus, now my answer starts, okay? I'm considering this line again, C1, V1 bar plus C2, V2 bar plus C3, V3 bar equal to 0 bar gives C1 V1 bar plus C2. I will substitute V1 bar, V2 bar and V3 bar equal to 0, 0, 0. What is V1 bar? 1, 1, 2. V2 bar is 1, 2, 1. And V3 bar is 2, 1, 1. Okay, geometrically, we all of us know what is meant by these three vectors are linearly independent. I mean, they are having three different directions and the plane which is containing first and second vector does not contain the third vector. Similarly, the plane containing the second and third vector does not contain the first vector and, and the third possibility also. Now, we will simplify this. So, when I multiply C1 inside, C2 inside and C3 inside these vectors, I will get and I add them up when I collect them. What will I get that collective step? I'm writing directly. This is C1 plus C2 plus 2C3 comma second component. Now I'm writing the second component of these C1 plus 2C2 plus C3 and the third component is 2C1 plus C2 plus C3 is equal to 0, 0, 0. So we get three equations. The three equations are C1 plus C2 plus 2C3 equal to 0. Second equation is C1 plus 2C2 plus C3 equal to 0. The third equation is 2C1 plus C2 plus C3 is equal to 0. So we get three equations. And want to find C1, C2 and C3. If Z1, C2, C3 come to be 0 and only 0, no other solution. Okay. You Clearly looking at these three equations, you understand that if you put C1, C2, C3, 0, this will all be satisfied. But we, have, we want to prove that C1, C2, C3 equal to 0 is the only solution. There is no other solution than this. Okay, so I have to solve these three equations, right? So to solve these three equations, what I will do is I will write these three equations in a form of a matrix. C1, C2, C3. And on the right hand side, I have 0, 0, 0. On the left hand side, I have coefficients. So coefficients are 1, 1, 2. 1, C1 plus 1, C2 plus 2, C3. This is how you multiply the horizontal row with the vertical column. Okay. Similarly, the second equation will be 1, 2, 1. And third equation will be 2, 1, 1. Okay. Now I want to solve this particular system. So what I will do is I will call this matrix A. I will call this matrix C. C stands for the constants. And this is the zero vector. Okay, this is zero, which is a zero matrix actually, right? So this A, I want to push on that side. So I will do what? I will multiply, not multiply, but I will pre-multiply by A inverse, both sides. So when I pre-multiply both sides by A inverse, I'm going to get A inverse into A into C 
is equal to a inverse into zero. What is inverse of matrix and the matrix itself? When you multiply a inverse and a, you will get identity matrix. And this is matrix C. And what is multiplication of any matrix with the zero matrix? You will get the zero matrix. So when I write this in the form of this, I'll get identity matrix is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. C matrix is C1, C2, C3. And the right hand side matrix is 0, 0, 0. This, this 0, I will write double. So it will look like this is a zero matrix. Okay. This looks like now. And I will write it as not a number zero, but it is the zero matrix. Okay. And when I multiply this matrix with C1, C2, so I'll get 1, C1 plus 0, C2 plus 0, C3. And this is 0 C1 plus 1 C2 plus 0 C3. So this is C2. And last row with the first this column 0 C1 plus 0 C2 plus C3. So this is C3 and this will become what? 0 0 0. And therefore I get that C1 is equal to 0. C2 is also equal to 0. And C3 is also equal to 0. Okay. So therefore I've got all the three constants are 0. And therefore the set s the set s was i am not writing in the correct order but it's same thing 2 1 1 then i have 1 2 1 and i have 1 1 2 okay this is linearly independent set okay so here uh, only one care has to be taken while doing all this calculation. I have just carelessly I have written only one step. That one step is this step. That careless step which I have written is this step. Pre-multiply both the sides by what? A inverse. The question that all of us should think now is that when does A inverse exist? When can you find inverse of matrix? So we all know that A inverse exists if the determinant is equal to what? If the determinant of that matrix is not equal to 0. So if you calculate the determinant of this matrix, if you calculate the determinant of this matrix, the determinant of this matrix will not be equal to 0. And since the determinant is not equal to 0, so before writing this step, before writing pre-multiply by A inverse, I will quietly check the determinant of the matrix at the corner and if that determinant is not equal to 0 then I will simply multiply by A inverse on both the sides and I will get that finally I will get that the value of constants is equal to what 0 0 0 okay but if the determinant comes up to be 0 then I will stop here and I will say that these three equations have many solutions this has infinite solutions c1 c2 c3 need not be necessarily zero but if the determinant comes to be non-zero then you will always have follow this procedure and you will always get the values of the constants equal to what you will get zero 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 okay 